morning everyone. So how's your day class? That's good to hear. So last session we have discussed the major organs of the circulatory system and respiratory system and their distinct functions. So today we will talk over its purpose and appreciate its existence. But before that, let us put first ourselves in the presence of our Lord and kindly join with me in this prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings that you have continually given us and for this opportunity to be with each other virtually. May your spirit of wisdom be with us to enlighten our minds as we go on with our discussions and to make this sharing meaningful and productive. We humbly ask you, Lord, for the healing of the world. May you put an end to this pandemic, for we know with you everything is possible. May you envelop us especially our professors and administrators with your powerful protection and guidance. All this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay class, are you ready for today's topic? That's good. But before that, let us recall first the key concepts that you need to master so that you can be able to apply it to our next lesson. So I have here two incomplete statements and all you need to do is to paste the correct organs to complete the statement. The first one is for the group 1 and the second one is for the group 2. Are we all set? Okay, so let's get started. Okay class, let us check your work. Wow, you did it well guys. Please give yourself a resounding applause. I believe you are now ready to indulge to our next topic. But before we proceed, please allow me to share our goals for today's session and these are the following. At the end of the session, you are expected to infer how one's lifestyle can affect the functioning of the respiratory and circulatory systems. Appreciate the importance of healthy lifestyles in avoiding such diseases. And organize a lecture talk to your juniors about how to take good care of these two systems. So I hope we could be able to achieve our first two objectives because the last one will be your final output for this topic. So this time, I will give the floor to Mom April for further discussions. Okay class, this time, let's play a game in order for you to energize. This game is called What's the Word? So here is the procedure. All four pictures in each given set depict ways of living. They are connected by one common word that indicates the effect of one's lifestyle on the functioning of the respiratory and circulatory systems. The expected answers are illnesses that are brought about by the negative lifestyles. You will write your answers on the cotton papers I have provided for you. Is it clear? Okay, so let's get started. The first set of picture is, the second one is, and the last one. So class, did you enjoy our game? All right. So today's morning, we are going to tackle the importance of healthy lifestyles in avoiding such diseases in our respiratory and circulatory systems. Eating healthy foods, getting enough sleep, and being active every day can help keep our respiratory and circulatory system strong. Getting enough exercise makes our lungs stronger and better at giving our body the oxygen it needs. So why is it important to maintain the health of the respiratory and circulatory systems? The body cells need a continuous supply of oxygen for the metabolic processes that are necessary to maintain life. The respiratory system works with the circulatory system to provide this oxygen and to remove the waste products of metabolism. It also helps to regulate the level of the blood. What is the importance of having a healthy lifestyle? 
Being healthy should be part of your overall lifestyle. Living a healthy lifestyle can help prevent chronic diseases and long-term illnesses. Feeling good about yourself and taking care of your health are important for your self-esteem and self-image. Maintain a healthy lifestyle by doing what is right for your body. Overall, it is important to take good care of our health in order for us to live longer. So, how about you, Z and Kate? What have you learned in our discussion today? Alright, that's good. Okay, class. Now, kindly go to your respective groups for another activity. Have you downloaded an editing app? I required you to do that beforehand. Am I right? Okay, with the use of your laptop and your editing app you have, make an infographics that portrays the importance of having a healthy lifestyle towards our respiratory and circulatory systems. I will give you 15 minutes to do your task and after that, you will send it to our group chat and I will check it afterwards. Don't forget to list who are present today and I will base it also for your attendance. Please take note the criteria on the screen. Is it clear, class? Okay, you may now begin. Are you done, class? Okay, now let us generalize what you have learned today through this saying. I believe it is self-explanatory class, but I want you to reflect on it because we only live once. Therefore, let us love ourselves and take good care of our health, for it is only our wealth. Now that you are knowledgeable enough about this topic, let us apply what you have learned through this assessment. So, in three to five sentences, answer this question. You always hear and see the statement, government warning, cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. How does cigarette smoking increases the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases? So write this in a one half sheet of pad paper. Are you done class? Okay, please pass your paper to the front for I'll be the one to check it. Okay, and for your assignment, please refer to the screen. As a whole, plan your lecture talk and submit your draft on Friday. So it is clear? Okay. To finally end our session today, always remember that our health is very important. I believe that being holistically fit, we can inspire others to do more and dream more. In addition, according to Latin Proverbs, Good health and good sense are two great blessings. Class, God has gifted us a sound body and mind in order to use it in glorifying His name and not to destroy it. Thus, we must appreciate every part of our whole being. And, and with, with that, that goodbye, goodbye class. class. Always remember that, that with God, nothing is impossible. Thank you, God bless, and keep safe, everyone.